I spent all day wandering around on a local server of CP Dust Bowl to find these tricks, most of which are entirely useless. Line up with the pole where the ground starts to slope upwards, and then aim at the corner, and shoot stickies into this window. When you explode them, they'll damage anyone on the other side who's standing near the staircase. You can also use this window to bounce pipes off. This is a great way to damage people coming up. There's another window here, which you can get to by jumping onto these boxes, and it offers you a great view onto the point. You can also shoot stickies through the other side, although as you can see I'm having a bit of trouble aiming there, and these should get anyone who's trying to get the large health pack. You can do a little wall pogo and jump up to here. You can also get here with a sticky. It's a pretty useless spot though. There's another useless spot up here where you just stand next to these little wires. It's pretty funny. You can do a nice pogo to quickly cross this gap without being spotted. If you place stickies inside of these cones, no one can see them. I hope everyone knows this by now, but it's a fun little trick. The same obviously goes for the cones on the third stage. You can jump up to this rock by first jumping up to the lower rock and then jumping again. You can also sticky jump directly up there. And this gives you a lot of areas where you can shoot down to, but you're obviously very exposed from up here. You can, if you line up with a gap with the letter N, you can shoot through the gap in the rocks and it'll land perfectly where these buildings might be uh, close to the corner. Speaking of corners, you can jump on this corner and uh, it's completely useless. There's no reason to do this. This little sticky out bit on the top of the roof, you can stand on there. And if you jump spot, you can line up rockets directly into the enemy spawn, which is great on servers with random crits. You can also land on these little sticky out bits up here. If you jump across, you can shoot through this tiny little gap in the roof, which will damage anyone going up the stairs below. You can do this very simple sticky jump directly to the large health pack from spawn and now that you're behind the entire enemy team you know what you have to do you could do this other jump go directly to this roof and congratulations you're now spawn camping use this one with caution as the server will hate you for this don't put traps on the top of this thing here i know it's tempting but these are actually extremely visible to anyone coming up from tunnel Instead, if you're trying to protect from the flank, you should be putting traps on this wall. They're much harder to spot, and they won't see them until it's already too late. You can jump up here. Don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Stickies placed in this wall are invisible. Don't know why. You can jump up onto here and this entire area is perfectly navigable. It seems pretty useless, but maybe there's a very niche case where you'd want to jump up there to escape someone. I don't know. You can also jump on this rock right here, which gives you a safe place to spam a carpet of stickies down. They land on the roof and in the main area there. You probably know that you can use these barrels to jump up to the point, but did you also know that you can jump up on this hose with a perfect crouch jump? You can stand up here. Yep, that's it. You can stand up here. You probably know that you can jump up using this pallet and then jumping around the corner, but did you also know that with a bit of a run up and perfect timing, you can crouch jump up here. This one's actually pretty useful, but it requires a bit of practice to get the timing down. 
You can stand on this rock with a sticky jump. No one's going to expect you to be up here spamming stickies down, but as soon as you're spotted, you're basically dead. You can place a dispenser in this tiny little nook. It's a bit fiddly, but once you get the positioning right, you can do it. This is not really a trick, it's just a good strategy. After your team is pushing, you should jump on your uh, dispenser and move your level 3 through this window. This is a great way to support your team on an uber push on this first point. I highly recommend engineers to do this to support their teams. You can stand on these little pipes and get this weird little head angle to shoot into red spawn or where they're going to come out of and they can't really see you because they can only see your head. There's weird geometry up here that you can stand on. There's also another one here, a little ledge. This one might give you a sight line down to a sentry. And then right above it, there's another ledge you can stand on. Just up here. I tried throwing some stickies over the side towards the point, but they get stuck on an invisible wall. Here's another ledge you can stand on, but again, there's invisible walls in the way, so you can't shoot towards the point, unfortunately. For some reason, there's a clip brush here that just lets you stand on nothing. Completely useless, but kind of funny. You can stand up here, which might give you an interesting angle down onto the point. I could see this having an extremely niche use case to quickly jump up there and defend last if then you're being pushed and you just respawned, but I'm not sure if it's that great for that. You can stand up here and spam directly into the spawn. And that's it, that's all the tricks I found. 